the long-awaited return of baseball season. A lot of excitement at Pete Taylor Park, the largest opening day crowd in program history. Over 5,200 made their way to Pete Taylor Park. And we know this guy, Dustin Dickerson, back in town to throw out the first pitch. He's, of course, playing pro ball now. And his fellow West Jones alum, Lawson Odom, getting the start for USM at catcher. True freshman, first college game, and he's catching a pretty good one. Nico Mazza having a great afternoon. He went five and a third with no runs allowed, eight strikeouts on the mound. On offense, it was the newcomer, Ozzie Pratt, sending this one for a ride, introducing himself to Pete Taylor Park with a triple that would score two runs, and that would open the scoring for Southern Miss. Two-run triple, and you see Ozzie Pratt, the shortstop, fired up. And Coach Oz likes what he sees as well. Sixth inning we go. It's a 4-1 lead, but Colby Allen trying to get out of a jam here, out of the bullpen. He does his job. Five strikeouts for Colby in three and two-third innings of work in the Southern Miss Golden Eagles for the 4-1 win to open this season. And we see Maza's numbers. He really set the tone as the Friday starter in Southern Miss. Starts off on the right foot. Here's Scott Kirk to recap it all. What a way for Southern Miss to begin their 2024 campaign. The Golden Eagles drew the largest home opening crowd in program history tonight in the team's 4-1 win over Marist. Also for head coach Christian Ostrander, he got his first win as a college head coach. Uh, man, I mean, when I saw the, the folks that's down there in the roost and all that stuff in the stands and uh, the... You know, we know this place loves loves the baseball, and, uh, and it's our job to go out there and, and, and put on a good show. When you look at the numbers offensively, the Golden Eagle lineup was mighty quiet tonight. Just two hits in the victory, but Ozzie Pratt delivered the blow that mattered in the bottom of the first inning with an RBI triple and his first at-bat at Pete Taylor Park. It was awesome. Like, the fans just kind of hyped everybody up and it was just awesome. Just nerves weren't really there. Just kind of head went blank. I didn't even know if I hit it. When I got to third, it was just unreal. We won the game with two hits, which is awesome. Like the freebies are really, were vital there. And we've talked a lot about the newcomers on this year's Golden Eagle team, but I'm not sure anybody was quite as new as Lawson Odom. The West Jones grad got the start in his first game as a college baseball player behind the plate. And he proved to Coach Oz that he was the right man for the job. I trust him. I think, you know, he's a competitor and I think he's locked in and focused and uh, he's going to make some mistakes and uh, we know that, but uh, he'll learn from them and move on. But I thought he handled it really well. He uh, called me like, so he's been caught catching me his whole life. Uh, I mean, I've been used to Rodrigo and Blake Johnson the last couple of years, but Lawson did as good of a job. He did, he did great. So that's it. Game one of the 2024 season in the books, and the Golden Eagles are 1-0 on the young year. Game two of the set against Marist, Saturday night at 6 p.m. Billy Oldham on the hill for USM, and they'll be handing out the Sun Belt Championship rings before the game as well. That'll wrap things up here from Pete Taylor Park. Reporting for WDAM, I'm Scott Kirk.